Thank you for taking time of your day. We're going to talk about we're going to uh, how to download and install Commvault version 11 on a domain, so like a domain computer. This uh, video assumes that you've installed uh, a Windows server, either 2012, 2016, and uh, you've joined the domain. So this server, you're going to join the domain. Okay, so first things first, you want to go to Commvault.com, and then the top right hand side it has like a free free trials, just click on free trials. And uh, the Commvault trial you want is a trial um, 30 days. So the bottom one is a VMware backup and recovery. If you want to install um, the VSA client, so backing up VMs with, with Commvault. So I, we're not doing that. We're only installing like media agents and um, Comserve. So we're going to download this one. Then uh, you put your information in, your first name, last name, email address, you know, maybe you can do like Gorilla email or whatever uh, if you want to do that and uh, click download. And here's what the file looks like. You want to right click on that file and you're going to essentially download the, uh, it extracts the installer. So put that somewhere and it's like, I don't know, four gig, something like that. Anyway, um, this is what it looks like after it's done. That extracts all these files. Now um, you want to click on setup to get the, the ball rolling on this. First things first, um, Commvault, you're going to get like a, it's a little different than version 10, how it, how it installs is like a new age version, if you will. Uh, just click OK. It takes quite a bit longer uh, than version 10, so um, bear with it. It's, I don't know, an hour maybe. Anyway, um, we're going to install the packages on the computer. And if you had like, um, if you wanted to install, say, um, the Unix version or the Linux version of Commvault, like a media agent or a client, you would download a package and then go through that and then download like a tar file. But we're not doing that. We're just doing the Windows side. And uh, let it go through its, its steps. And let's see. So here we go. This is a little different than... Sorry, the other the other one, in that um, you're going to choose like clicky, um, you know, little box fill box if you will. Anyway, so um, we're going to do the Comserve Media Agent Web Server Web Console, and so if you click on the left, you have Server, uh, Microsoft Windows Virtualization Database, etc. And this is just clicking on the Windows Microsoft Windows. That's the file system in the file system core. And of course the VSS provider and databases. We don't have any databases backing up. We're not gonna. Now here's the thing about this: if you download a database, it's gonna throw an error afterwards and say you don't have a database installed. That's the whole deal behind it. So if you do this, you should have um, you should have like if like for instance you're down um, you're downloading you click on Oracle. We well, should have an Oracle database on this Windows server, or you know a MySQL or a um, SQL Server, um, SQL Server data is already set up on this. Otherwise, it's going to throw an error for you. It's different than you know a client. You're backing up a client. Um, anyway, you're backing up actual SQL Server, so that's the reason why for that. And the applications we're going to install Active Directory because we, of course, we have Active Directory installed on our media agent, or rather on our Active Directory server, and um, you know, tools, finish, or I'm sorry, next, then you, are, this is where you put the content store at, I put in the C drive. Uh, it does actually install SQL Server, so that's uh, where the path you're going to get that. And then uh, this is for the DR, so the data uh, disaster recovery path. I put it in my C drive. This is testing purposes, right? So it can, typically it's going to be on like a network share um, that never goes down or um, it's somewhere else. The data, the data uh, disaster recovery is basically, yeah, what file is it? I forget what the name of the file is, but um, anyway, that is if like the comserve blows up or whatever, you know, the comserve gets corrupt or whatever, right? You can rebuild that with this DR file. It's like, depends on how big your, your Commvault, your comserve is. Um, and it usually, this is probably, 
a gig, two gigs, something like that. Depends on how many clients you have and all that. At any rate, um, we're not going to do a proxy. And here's for the Active Directory. So this is like, uh, I'm going to install Active Directory client on your machine. So give me the credentials, please. Right? And you see it's part of a domain. And um, I don't click this, change the directories, uh, Active Directory schema. I don't, I don't do that. I know in some cases they do that, but I, I, I don't do that. We're not going to do it for this purpose anyway. Anyway, so this is installation summary. Uh, it's where it's installed, where what is being installed, and same deal here, third-party software, some of the stuff. And anyway, uh, here we go, right? So here's the most important information. So the clients, which is your ComServe, name of the ComServe will use to communicate with this computer. So that's the client name is Mesh Text, of course, 01, or uh, Commvault 01, and then the, the host name of the of the of the host of the client rather. Um, I don't do, I don't disable firewall right, and just leave it default, and then uh, it creates a new database essentially. And really, that's it. I mean, this takes like probably an hour at least, right, to do this. And once you're done, here's what it looks like. Here's what you look like. It pops up for the first time. It says, you know, basically you have a temp license. Good for, how long was this? Maybe two months, something like that. Um, yeah, so your, your license evaluation. Um, this is the same license they give you if you do proof of, po uh, proof of concept from like a Commvault salesperson or whatever. You'll get this license. And, you know, just close that out right there. Every time. Every time you open it, you're going to see this usually. And how you log in, it's since this is the domain, it just automatically logs in. It's really nice. And finally, you know, you see the similarity between 10 and probably 9 and 8 if you've worked Convo a long time. Uh, on the left hand side, you have your Comcell browser. Of course, the same thing your client, security storage, uh, reports. Um, Com uh, compute server index servers, your agents, your my favorites. Of course, getting started, this is, you know, standard, right? What you see on this. Um, job controller. So the com com cell job controller event viewer. Event viewer is nice because it, if you want to know who logged in, click that. Uh, schedule license and registration. Your control panel. Uh, let's see, web console. So, for instance, you have a, um, uh, you want to view, like, the analytics side. You want to set up a web server, basically, like, somewhere else. You don't want to have to log in your comm server all the time. So, you set up a, a web console. So, that allows you to either log in the comm serve from another location or your desktop, let's say, or um, to view, like, what's backed up in, like, a web page, if you will. And this is new. The health status looks, well, looks new. It's uh, and then dashboard view, SLA status. It's pretty nice. Um, I'll be going over these in a, another video about Commvault and what these all do. So anyway, uh, <clears throat> appreciate you uh, viewing this uh, tutorial on uh, how to set up, how to install, how to, or rather how to download and install Commvault version 11. Thank you very much.